three three big things happen on AEW. Maybe more. That I was not expecting. Okay, so so tell me what they are. Uh, well, I was certainly not expecting Jeff Jarrett to debut. Neither was I. I was not expecting that Chris Jericho's mystery Ring of Honor champion would be Colt Cabana. Yeah. And I was not expecting that this Friday on Rampage, in an AEW championship match for the for the uh, All Atlantic title, it will be Orange Cassidy versus Katsuyori Shibata. Yeah, I would not have picked that match happening ever. What? Um, so I can tell you. So, well, which one do you want to start with? Well, I mean, they're all bizarre, but I I got to start with Shibata. Well, Okay, so Shibata here. So, so Shibata told AEW that he wanted he had two matches he wanted in AEW, Orange Cassidy and Brian Danielson. So they are going to work on doing both of them, and obviously this was the first one. And he's free this week, and so they made it this week. But okay, as far okay. as as far as how he's getting cleared to <laughs> let's, wrestle, let's talk about this. So this guy, so, as far as how he's getting cleared to wrestle. He got clear to wrestle. That's this guy nearly you. died. Yes. New Japan would not clear him to wrestle. They allowed him to do what was supposed to be an exhibition match. Well, they, and he well, went into business for himself and did a full-fledged match with bumps the whole nine yards. With, with Ren well, he didn't take he didn't take bumps. Well, they never let him in the ring again. Yeah, they haven't let him in the ring since. They yeah. have not let him in the ring since. He decided yeah. to do that. And yeah. now, now not only not only is he having a full-on match with Orange Cassidy. For the championship. But I presume he's losing. I would presume he's losing, yeah. I mean, it would, he's, he can't wait. Well, he's going to win the championship. So Katsuyori Shibata's first official match back since he nearly died in a match with Okada is a rampage match with Orange Cassidy that he's losing this Friday. In Atlantic City. <laughs> and, 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 and it's going to be commentated by Mike Tyson. Now you oh have my to God. you have to admit you have to admit that that as as um as the, perhaps like if you said 6 months ago we would watch a match with Mike Tyson announcing Katsuyori Shibata wrestling Orange Cassidy that would be like there's no Dude, way. Dude, we do a prediction show every year, okay? Nobody predicted and that one. Everybody's encouraged to do kind of a uh, off the wall prediction because if you predict like you know WWE's going to make some money this year, you ain't going to win. So you kind of have to go out on a limb. And if we would have had, if we would have had someone say Vince McMahon will be embroiled in scandal and well, removed wasn't... from power in WWE, right. or Shibata and, 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 will have and, and, his first and, and, match back against Orange Cassidy on Rampage in Atlantic City with Mike Tyson, one of these would be far more ridiculous than the other. Yes, yes, I would. I it was uh, kind of out of nowhere, but um... you don't say. Yeah, but you know he wants to wrestle, and I guess, <laughs> I mean, he, how did they clear him? So New I mean, Japan is like, well, you ain't wrestling for us, buddy, because like you know we don't want to be responsible. But if they want to put you in the ring, go for it. Not on our watch. Is that what's going on here? Man, I don't know. I don't know. But when he came out, you know that when they did that angle when he ran in, um, remember on Will Osprey at uh, Forbidden Door, mm -hmm. and everybody was shocked. That was to build up this match. So they actually, you know, I mean, he saved Orange Cassidy. So Orange Cassidy and him are friends. So he wants to wrestle Orange Cassidy. So that's like the, the story. So there's actually a storyline to this in its own way. Um, but I mean, as far as, you know, I mean, you know, like if he wrestled in Japan because of the, um, you know, sympathy and everything like that and everyone knowing the story, it'd be a big thing. But in Atlantic City, I mean... There's there will be people there who know the story, but it's not like um, and I, and you know there were people who were shocked when they heard his music. I know I was going like what? Is I mean, this? I was shocked when I heard his music, but I was far less shocked than when I heard that he was signing this contract for the match. That yeah. was a big shock. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I'd already seen Jeff Jarrett show up and Colt Cabana. Yeah, well, Colt Cabana wasn't really that big of a surprise. Um, I mean, people. Were, some people were predicting that anyway. Jeff Jarrett was a surprise, though. So Jeff Jarrett's now. Well, I mean, uh, it was a it was a surprise in the sense that Colt Cabana just happens to be back on Dynamite right after this investigation gets wrapped up, 
that all stemmed from a story that he couldn't be on Dynamite because of CM Punk. And now I, Punk is gone, and here he is. Well, I guess that there's a certain part of that story that people have been denying that was true from the start. Can I say that? Well, it sounds like you just did. I just did, yeah. I mean, even if you hadn't said it, I mean, what other conclusion could you come to if you watched that people, match on Dynamite? People, people, will, people will come to different conclusions. But the thing was what it was from the start, and this proved, well, I mean, some people say it didn't prove it, but in fact, um, it did prove that. So there you go. So um, Colt Cabana was in. He lost to, to Jericho, and uh, I don't know if he's going to be back on the show, but he's under contract to Ring of Honor, which we all know. And it's first time, first match on Dynamite in a long, long time. And he was the surprise, and, you know, match was fine. Even kind of good. And then the show opened with the debut of Jeff Jarrett, who, I mean, he's the same old Jeff Jarrett. He had a guitar, and he <laughs> whacked Darby Allen in the head with it. And uh, now, granted, I think that the vast majority of what he's going to be doing is unrelated to being in the ring, but it's clear he's going to be doing some stuff in the ring. No, but he's going to well. be doing stuff on camera. I mean, there's yeah. no doubt. I mean, he, he declared war on AEW. It sounded like he was going to lead an invading force. Oh, my God. Chip yeah. Jarrett's bringing all of the Impact stars well, I don't think to AEW. Gonna be, I don't think it's going to be the Impact stars. I think it's going to be like Sanjay and. And these guys and Jay Lethal and I—I I don't know how that's going to turn out. But I mean, he—he's there for um, what's the director of business strategy or something. You know, he's uh, going to help with. Well, the, he's essentially going to be doing the same job he was doing with WWE before he was fired. No, no, WWE. He was booking house shows. He was the. the he, that's he not what this show. is. Oh, it might they be. They said Am something I, involving live events. It sounds like yeah. virtually the same job. Well, I think he's going to be helping with the touring. I mean, him and uh, Chris Harrington and um, Raphael Morphy. Um, are going to be working on, you know, getting more buildings and things like that. And, you know, he 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 knows buildings, and uh, I don't know. It's it's like it's I have like weird feelings about this one just because like, um, <laughs> I I mean Jeff Jarrett to me is not what AEW should have on television in 2022. I mean it's almost like the exact opposite. I mean as far as Jeff Jarrett in the in in working in the office. Um, you know, it depends on what his role is. You know, I mean, it's like, I, I, you know, I mean, I don't know what, what he has learned over the last couple of years. And it may be a lot. I mean, I haven't had a long discussion with him or anything. So, you know, like some of those guys, like, again, the guys from the past, the problem with the guys from the past is the, the, that many of them are stuck in the past and they have a mentality of the past and the past is gone. And while well, there are lessons from the past that you can learn from, trying to recreate it is, 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 a, is a recipe for complete failure. But he may have learned a lot of stuff, for all I know. I don't know how closely he's followed it. I don't really know the answer. As far as, you know, um, booking buildings and things like that, especially, especially with AEW, because AEW is not WWE. It's a very different product. But... And it's very, very different from from Impact, you know, especially when Jarrett was running Impact. Um, the audience is so different, and it's exactly what they don't want would be that. Now, that said, um, as far as, like, you know, working on touring and things like that, you know, it could be very valuable. So it's like I kind of, like, have, like, mixed feelings on, on him. I just think that um, – I think that the company has so many young wrestlers that need more TV time. And look, he's not Sting. You know what I mean? He's not Bill Goldberg. You know what I mean? It's like there's people who you could, who you could bring in and and you know, on the guys that they will move numbers. Okay, Christian Cage is not one of them. Jeff Jarrett is not one of them. Not that Christian Cage hasn't been entertaining in his role. But the point is, is that you don't really need... Um, I don't even think you want guys like in their 50s on that show, unless it's... I mean, Billy Gunn's over and hot because it's a cool thing right now. Sting is kind of an icon to a lot of people. You know, I don't mind him on. But you really want that number to be very, very low. Dustin Rhodes, you know, will go out there, and he'll go give you a good match when you call him to give you a match, and he'll get the people behind it every now and then on a rare occasion, but not as a weekly character. So, um, but yeah, you don't... I just don't think that you want... Um, I don't think you want the older guys in in a company. 
um, you, you know, I don't think you want that many older guys in the company on TV. So, um, but whatever, he's, he's more dynamic than Tully was. So, you know, and Tully was on as a manager. So, I mean, if you're comparing him to that, you know, he did pretty well. I thought the, I thought he was fine in the segment, but like the guitar thing is just like, Jesus Christ, he was doing that. Plus, you know, you killed poor Darby. Darby's laying in a puddle of his own blood. Yeah. That guitar show. I, 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 but I think that like like, the, like that thing is just like that's like a throwback to the past. Of, and I, I just, you know, I don't know. I just feel that that's it's from a different era. You know, I mean, um, and AEW should be moving forward for the most part. You know, I mean, the nostalgia thing's fine for a week. I mean, like if it was, if this was it, he was going to do maybe one one show, and this was the show. I mean, that's fine. I didn't have a problem with that. But as a weekly character. You know, hitting people with guitars every week, um, saying slap nuts. You know, it's like that nostalgia is going to run out. But, you know, again, like in the office running stuff, you know, I mean, um, depending what the job is, he, you know, he, he might be very effective in that role. But uh, I don't know. It's like it, it, it does. Um, I'm mixed. I'll put it that way. Um, but, yeah, on TV, not so sure. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio... We got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 Audio shows at your fingertips.